The Federal Reserve is expected to announce its decision on interest rates today at around 2 p.m. Eastern. The Fed has raised rates four times this year. So joining me now is Gina Smilik. She's a Federal Reserve and economics reporter for The New York Times. Always good to see you, uh, Gina. Uh, what is the likelihood that we could see yet another rate hike? I feel like with all the other rate hikes or the one time where we didn't have one, we could kind of guess what was going on with the feds because they kind of broadcasted things. I don't know if that's happening this time around. Yes. So I think that for this meeting, the broadcast has definitely been there. It is super unlikely that we're going to get a rate increase mm. today. Markets aren't priced for it. Nobody's expecting it. We're very likely on hold. But I would say out of my Fed watching career, this is one of the more exciting months that we're not expecting a rate increase. You know, these are usually boring meetings when you don't have a rate increase. But at this one, I think we have some really interesting things to watch because the Fed is releasing fresh set of economic projections. And that fresh set of economic projections is likely to have a lot of revisions compared to the last set they released. We're likely to get new indications of whether they're still expecting to raise rates again this year. We're likely to see a little bit more about what they think is going to happen next with inflation. And we're likely to get a hint at you know how they're squaring the fact that the economy has remained pretty darn strong despite all of their interest rate increases so far. Mm, okay, so then I presume that the Fed's going to be looking at maybe key areas to see what is happening with inflation. What are some of the key areas that they that they look at to determine? Because you know, the, us regular folks, we're looking at the price of gas or the price of eggs. What's the Fed looking at? Yes. So they are definitely looking very closely at the labor market. They, the, the sort of the way the Fed thinks about the world is if you've got a lot of momentum, if there's a lot of vim and vigor in the economy, companies are going to be able to continue raising prices. They're going to be trying to cover any wage gains they're paying out to their workers. And so that's likely to keep uh, inflation pretty high, pretty elevated. It's likely to keep a pretty big base for that inflation number. I think they've gotten some encouraging news on that front. The labor market looks pretty strong. You know, we still have very low unemployment historically, but it does seem to be cooling off, at least at the margins. And I think that's what they've been hoping for. I think, though, they are likely to be worried about some of the things that sort of everyday Americans are also worried about. You know, they kind of ignore gas to the extent that they don't think they can do much about it. But I think anytime gas prices rise like they currently are doing, there's always this concern that people are going to start really paying a lot of attention to inflation, that it might sort of help inflation to become a more normal part of daily life. And so I think that they're probably paying attention to those trends as well. Um, how does this, today's decision impact consumers or what consumers should expect for the rest of the year? Because you said you know, they might do something this month, but that's no guarantee that, you know, we've seen the end of rate hikes. Yeah, so I actually think this is a really interesting meeting from a consumer perspective, because I think there's a possibility that the Fed's going to signal that they think they're probably done with rate increases, which means that, you know, we've hit the peak. You know, it means that there's a good chance that mortgage prices, mortgage rates are not going to go up from here. Um, there's also a chance that the Fed isn't going to signal that, that they're going to signal that they think they might need to do more. And if they signal that, you know, it, it means that we're maybe not quite at that peak yet, or that interest, rate, interest rates might stay higher for longer than you otherwise would expect. And so I think from a consumer's perspective, if you're thinking about taking out a loan, if you're thinking about, you know, how long there's going to be this pressure on the economy, this sort of source of uncertainty, I think the message that the Fed sends today is pretty important for that. All right, Gina Smilik, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.